Hello, my dear warriors. Welcome aboard to the Vedantu Need English channel. And this is your Captain Shreyas here, your physics master teacher, your mentor, your guide throughout this Need journey. And this is a very short and very important video for all the students who feel that they are either underconfident or who feel that they have not done much or they feel that they are not scoring enough marks in spite of putting in their efforts or even those students who will not admit that they have not started much of their preparation. If you feel that you have wasted your time, if you feel that there was something missing in the last months or the years and now you have realized that oh my god exam is nearby and you want to score really well. This is a video for you. I won't be making this video again because if the time is gone now, if you do not use this opportunity now, this will not come back. This is your final, final chance to redeem yourself, to make sure that you go from zero to hero. And trust me, it is still possible to score out of marks. And even if you feel that, no, sir, I don't think I will get 180 marks. I might get just 140, 120 marks or 150 marks. That is still okay. The target should always be set very high. The target should be 180. Whether you get it or not, that is something which you should not bother right now. But you should always aim high, no matter what your rank in the mock test is or no matter what your preparation level is. So, I have done a very detailed analysis of not just the chapters but also the study flow and what you should do and the exact timeline till the NEET exam what must be done when and how all right so stay tuned till the end of the video and I hope you have smashed the subscribe button in case you have not subscribed to the channel and yes please show support by smashing the like button to your yeah favorite channel now the most important chapters are in NEET physics work, energy and power. Many questions do come from that and you use these concepts in many other chapters like electrostatics, magnetism and so many other places. Rotational mechanics, very important. The concepts are used not just in that but also in some other chapters like the concept of moment of inertia or angular momentum or rotational kinetic energy. Gravitation, very important even for electrostatics. Thermodynamics, again many questions come. Also it is there in chemistry. Current electricity also very huge chapter but also very important. Moving charges and magnetism that entire unit is very important. Ray optics a big chapter includes prisms and you know all the optical devices as well as you know the lenses and the mirrors part very important chapter. Dual nature and the photons properties all these things are very important. Semiconductors and logic gates theoretical chapter but it is very very important again. Then you have the moderately important chapters like units and dimensions. Then you also have kinematics, then laws of motion, thermal properties. Then you have waves on a string and sound, electric potential and charges, wave optics and nuclear. They are moderately important. Why am I giving you this bifurcation? So that if you think, sir, I think I will leave gravitation or I will think, uh, I think that I will leave dual nature. Then this will remind you, you can't. This is very important no matter what you feel this is going to be very very important you dare not leave any of these topics and talking about these topics these topics have to be done after completing or if you get confidence in all these topics then go to these topics once you do these then go to the least important topics which is ktg shm electromagnetic waves electric charges and fields magnetic materials matter emi and fluids I'm not saying that you should leave them, but imagine a student who is studying only these chapters and has left these chapters. 100%, even if you have done all these chapters, you will not score more than 60 marks. So that is very important that which chapters you are doing first, which chapters you are leaving for option just in case. So that's the reason why I have given this bifurcation. But when you aim for 180, you have to do all of them. But the order of doing these things matter. That's why this bifurcation. I hope this is very clear. Now, many students ask this, is NCRT and PYQs enough? Well, let me tell you, honestly, it is enough till you get around 130, 140 marks. 
but beyond 140 marks it becomes little difficult just to depend on ncrt or pyqs but easily you can score close to 130 marks you know just by ncrt and pyqs so what and all you should do in ncrt the underlined uh, statements the most important things right there are some important definitions star mark things which your teacher in the school would have given or maybe i would have told or maybe what i will tell you in the series ncrt in text questions very important many questions have got repeated in the neat examination nta loves this back exercises also have come not the theoretical but the problems which are there so by changing the values or taking a part of the problem they have given it in neat NCRT summary also very important. A theoretical question may come or some important value or some important name they might ask. So very important. Sometimes there are things in summary which is not there in you know the regular chapter because people think oh summary is just the same thing again it is small only so let's just leave it. No don't leave it. NCRT examples, experiments, definitions whatever are there please go through it. So basically NCRT is important. PYQs of the last 10 years very very important. Okay, uh, after you get some more time during the revision, you can solve more PYQs. Very recent J mains PYQs like 2020, 2021, 22, 23. These J mains papers you can solve for physics. I'm not saying solve 100%. Even if you solve 60 to 70%, that is okay because the level of J mains paper has come down drastically, specifically for physics. So that will also give you some additional practice problems and additional confidence which you might need for the NEET exam. So not many people do it, but if you want to score 180, you want to boost up your score, please do that. What should be the correct flow of studying? First, listen to the YouTube classes, be it on uh, you know the platform, be it on just YouTube or be it offline, wherever you are. You might be in the Vedantu offline center, you might be in the Vedantu hybrid batch, you might be in the Vedantu platform or YouTube, wherever you are, just watch the classes properly, systematically, do not miss any classes. Second step is read the textbook. It could be HC Varma or maybe it is your coaching book, whatever it is, read the textbook, then go to your teacher notes or the PDF which the teacher would have sent you or available on the platform, then the NCRT. This is the right flow. After that, see the solved examples which the teacher has done in the class itself. Try to solve it again. Or in the textbook or in the problem solving book, there will be some solved examples. Try to solve the solved examples. See it first, then try to solve it. Okay? Then that's when you develop confidence. Then go to easy problems. Then go to average problems. From every topic, let's say for example, you choose a topic like beats. So from beats, solve first easy questions and then go to average questions then go to pyqs okay last 10 years then make the notes many students what they do immediately after listening to the lecture they start making the notes never do that for physics after pyq start making the notes because that's when you understand the correct flow and all the nitty gritties in the chapter and in the last during revision solve the remaining pyqs or whatever problems you had left out or some problems which will be there which are very important those problems you solve them okay now also i am going to give you a lot of dpps in the class on youtube for free of cost after every youtube lecture you will be seeing dpp links and quiz links in the description box make sure you are attending the vedantu daily practice problems okay it's there in the super six series absolutely free of course please check that out in the description now the next important thing is which topics are must must but it is not a chapter maybe but it is a skill things like trigonometry you should know i recently conducted a class calculus vectors basic algebra and drawing free body diagrams you must be possessing these skills because you are going to need it at different places throughout your need physics journey okay then which are the time consuming chapters you get very bored because it will take you many days Things like rotational mechanics, current electricity also very big, moving charges, magnetism, ray optics, semiconductors and logic gates, fluid mechanics. Lengthy chapters, sometimes more theory, sometimes more complex, lot of questions in it. So it's very time consuming. You need to have patience. But don't leave these chapters midway. No matter what, do not leave it at any cost. That's why I mentioned this exclusively in bold alphabets. 
right so make sure you do not you know leave it now there are certain chapters which you can study together also not many people know this like wave on a string sound waves wave optics or right electromagnetic waves those entire waves and wave optics you can study them together if you are learning trigonometry then next you can learn shm and then you can learn alternating current also so all these topics go together then rotational mechanics if you study after that moving charges and magnetism the entire magnetism unit magnetic effects magnetic sources moving charges all these things you can study work power energy if you study then you can go to electrostatics and gravitation also these two chapters are related and you need the concept of potential energy and potential uh, right so that's why you need work power energy chapter so study these chapters in hand in hand so there is a nice flow or a rhythm which is maintained and you will feel more confident or else you might be studying electrostatics and studying gravitation separately then there is no point you can finish it faster that's the reason now also we are covering all the top chapters all the high weighted chapters first and then we will be you know pushing up leveling up your scores to 700 plus so you know you have your super six series six times for six classes in a week and on sunday you have a weekly mock test after every class you get the dpps these lectures are in depth right from zero level to 180 level so right from zero to hero right proper lectures for all the topics nothing is left out ncrt is also covered pyqs are also covered theory is also covered problem solving is also covered all the notes will be given to you so please make sure you are attending the classes live as many days as possible even if you miss a class make sure you watch it the other day if you follow this plan then what happens is even if you are starting from now even if you are starting from zero percent there are roughly 29 chapters in physics roughly if you take two days per chapter okay which is a very uh, you know realistic plan then you will take around 58 days to cover the entire physics syllabus entire physics syllabus and when i'm saying per uh, per chapter you are taking two days you might be also studying biology and chemistry in those two days so you have to divide your day into three subjects or divide your time accordingly so that on an average you are solving or completing two chapters of physics sorry uh, one chapter of physics per two days so in roughly two months you will be able to complete it so by february end maximum you should be done with the complete syllabus so right so that's the plan which you need to uh, you know put up on your calendar or on your wall and you should tick mark whenever a chapter is done start with high weightage most important lengthy chapters first then go to the moderate and then go to the low weightage chapters that's the order now I, the timeline like i said december to february complete the syllabus that's your timeline for scoring 180 marks weekly mock test every sunday you should give a chapter mock test and on vedantu platform itself you will get free mock test please check out the link and in the description also join the telegram group because that's when the link will be available to you or else you will not see the link march you will have detailed revision on youtube itself as well as the platform and in april you will have quick revision the final lap which will continue and then the full syllabus mock test that you will be giving in these months at least give 30 mock tests full syllabus okay so this is the plan your timeline right from now till your you know april end just before the neat 2024 examination okay i hope this is clear and i hope you guys will be able to do this in fact you will be able to do this if you say to yourself i can do it and i want every student who has watched this video till the end to put up in the comment section that yes sir i can do it and let's target 180 in neat physics if you target 180 only then you will study right now and there will be no further video after this remember that because now if you lose this chance you will not get back this time again all right so ready my dear warriors to gear up to level up and to achieve your target of 180 thank you so much for watching do not forget to smash the like button for more such videos and also subscribe to the channel for more amazing series just like super six thank you very much captain Shreyas signing off